So here's the latest update. Uh, on the weekend I solved the problem that we have with the, where we're going to do or what we're going to do with all of the foam that uh, gets milled off of all the blocks. So I've got a leaf blower here which actually if you've used one of these it can work in reverse as a vacuum cleaner um, or at least a vacuum and I bought the little accessory that they have on it here with the hose and it attaches here to your trash can with this sort of uh, mesh that is breathable uh, the foam, some of the foam bits end up being really minute will go through that if you turn the, the vacuum up too much but other than that this is a, like a 55 gallon uh, bucket here or drum or trash can and we have these bags in here um, that are nice and thin and lightweight um, so we'll be bagging up all that uh, polystyrene foam so we can keep the place clean so that's a solution to that problem so another thing I picked up on the weekend was this puller um, that we have actually used today and I've packaged it back up again but basically that's what it is but our friends at Harbour Freight this for 18 bucks which you can't beat down there they got the best prices in town um, so we used this uh, this morning and we pulled off um, the bearings and this is the one that got destroyed see there's all the all bearings there and I believe some of them aren't quite round anymore <laughs> and the race is all messed up and there you can see all that and then that was the little shroud that sort of holds everything in on the side the other bits gone I think it just got disintegrated anyway so that's that we had the two other bearings were good in there but anyway we've ordered a full set had to order four bearings all together and they're a lot of money a lot of money <laughs> um, anyway so they they will be here tomorrow so the next part of the project is something else that I ordered yes or picked up on the weekend again from our guys at Harbour Freight this 12 ton press here assembled that yesterday and got it all set up in here now so we'll basically be doing our little uh, drive shaft there and we'll be putting the bearings back on and over in here I've got the that's the spacer that goes in between the two bearings and then there's two of those guys but we'll be getting the new sealed ones and then there's another one that sits on the top so using our press here we'll be setting that all up in there to press those on um, so that's the solution to that problem so possibly by the end of tomorrow we'll have the CNC back operating again so next we have uh, the canards here with the elevators Jeff's put the servos in here you see though he's actually had to cut a nice little slot in here to run the wiring um, and then he's in, in cut those out and embedded that and hooked up a little arm on there so those are all just sort of drying or curing here in the sun so we're getting pretty close and Jeff's right now just programming the controller to handle all the different servos um, so yeah we're probably um, maybe tomorrow we'll be flying it's getting a little late in the day today but tomorrow is a good chance if the weather cooperates all right so big news Jeff now has the aircraft almost ready for high-speed taxi testing We're just taxiing it around the parking lot here a little bit Still has to put the spinner on. There's some more adjustments that still need to be made. So with any luck tomorrow we will be flying it. Or at least doing some high speed taxi techs. Uh, testing to see how it rotates. Alright, so stay tuned for an update tomorrow.